Okay, so this is going to need all four. The waves of a vast ocean lap around the shores of this cape. The available ground is less here, so optimal design is paramount. Okay. I don't know. This seems pretty reasonable. Oh, maybe it's a smaller map. Is that is that the deal? Maybe it is. Um. This is a pickle. Let's just do that. Normally I wouldn't connect these two, but I don't really see... Well, I want to connect to the two waterways, and this seems like a really good time to do it. Okay. Do that there. There. That here. Get the water. Yeah, these aren't gonna connect. I didn't no matter what I do. Okay. Small amounts of money. How do we start hooking this together? Not a lot of available trees, I'm noticing. Can we use the water from the shores? Not if it's not if it's salt water. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure salt water is pretty much a dis disqualifying thing for uh, most agriculture and agricultural needs. Okay. So I need to start boogieing as far as getting some greenery down. Otherwise, we're going to we're going to run out of dosh. Okay, put that there. Get that down. There we go. Now I've got bonds. Okay. We have no power in this immediate zone. Eh, I can probably swing it between these three. It's a little ugly. And the real question is, can I... No. Yeah, so apart from trying to expand water out this direction, I'm probably not going to be able to get anything there. And I think I just need to accept that. I can't get every location, and honestly, the faster that I cover this map, the better. Let's see. No power there. Let's see. I think that's the best coverage. Yeah, I'm just trying to peak coverage everything. Um, hmm. That there. That feels a little wasteful. Okay, and then I can't I can't do anything more for a second cuz I'm about to run out of cash. I'm trying to redline it here, just maximum efficiency, minimum placements just for a moment. Because as soon as we get the rain to fall, then we get all the bonus money for every tile that we didn't cover. Which is super nice. Oh. Let's 
Let's max out this one first, and then we'll figure out what to do with this. Okay, I've still got enough for a little bit more. I can put that there. Okay, so I've got loads of money and space to work with. Means loads of coverage. Heck yeah. Alright. Just do a vertical one here. That seems reasonable enough. Okay. Do a windmill here. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do with those upper plateaus. cover that? That's such minimal coverage. Okay, but I will say we want to get a windmill right here. There we go. That's that's better coverage. Nope. Can't do anything. I am low on money again. This is going to be the story of this game for me. Up. Oh. Waste money, make money, rinse, repeat, eventually decide. Oh, yeah, time to actually finish this level. You just put one right here? No, 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 no. Let's leave it. We're trying to go for maximum but inefficient coverage right now. Because as soon as I can get this up to 50%, then we just get access to you so much more. Uh, put that there. I should have set this up previously. Undo that for a second. I just realized I'm out of, I'm almost out of money. <sighs> Means we've got to get out of here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we've repopulated everything. The most important part of this is purely just the research center. Everything else is just kind of bonus, but the research center is crucial. Uh, let's put it up here where no matter what, it will not burn. So, big issue I'm looking at We need everything. This central area looks like a really good candidate for fire. It's a decent chunk of the map, not much going on. Burn the whole spot. Let's see. Let's quickly grab some of those biodiversity spots, though. Or, not biodiversity, but put these down. Because things are cheaper now that I'm on this section. That'll make me very little money. I don't know if that's worth it. I... No. So getting up here is going to be tough. I think we might have to just nix that. I guess I don't have to worry about connecting the water if I don't want to. Because if I want to just get out here, plonk a pump. 
Yeah, because I'll probably want to set that area on fire. I think I just want to have this zone that I can work with. Because this seems like a good flower field more than anything else. You know what's throwing me off? The little the little chime in this game is the exact sound from the from the depths uses when you complete a tutorial objective. Huh. Okay. Let's slap these down. Good place to just make a little bit of extra cash. I'll do. Okay, now let's start getting some bees. Bees! More bees. Endless bees. All oh, right, we've also got the hydroponiums. Well, I should have a lot of potential wetland. That I can work with. Not that keen on that. However, that is very prime wetland location. Okay, good to go on, on the whole B, B bit. Yeah, let's get as much wetland down as possible before we set everything on fire. Because I can potentially burn this whole area, this whole area. This area is no longer burnable, but I think that's okay. And honestly, once I burn one, then I will should be able to burn the other. that there. I do a biodome. Yeah, I think I might have to turn this area specifically into let's see. Tur turn this area generally into a uh, the arid location. Okay. I'm thinking we set fire to everything. Oh, here's the other option. You want to connect out here? Nah. Once once it rains, it'll be okay. <laughs> well, that's just embarrassing looking. Oh, well, time to burn it. All right, we should have the sunlight in the area, so burn. Burn, baby, burn. Whee! Let's see how this goes. I wonder if wetlands burns. I... 99% certain they do not burn. I don't, th I don't think I've ever seen them burn. I think they are a natural fire break. I... This is the kind of game that I would give to kids. Like, obviously it can be a little difficult, and there are some kind of mature topics if you think about it. Kinda? But it's very calm, it's very peaceful, it's got a very consistent set of rules with no RNG. Um, so, which makes it a very fair game, which... I... I don't think anybody ever talks about this, but... Games that are, like, objectively fair in their mechanics and education and how they work... Uh, is something that we don't do a very good job of handing to children most of the time that usually it's just kind of this weird expectation that, you know, kids will just kind of enjoy games evenly, but uh, it's not actually good to present games that are just, like, inherently biased. Well, maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It can be damaging all the same. Um, and also, it's a lot easier to learn a game if it's very consistent with itself. 
The only thing Crash Bandicoot taught me as a kid is that 3D platforming is bullshit. Yup, that is not why I never got into it. Alright, well... <laughs> this caused some problems. Let's start reclaiming this. Okay. We need a lot of trees. Okay, trees are good now. I'm probably still going to get another Arboretum out here, just because. We want to spread some flowers. We might actually be okay in regards to flowers. So maybe we don't want to do that. Okay, question. Can I put a greenhouse down even if there is nothing to greenhouse? I can. Cool. Because <coughs> we need a lot of wetland. Okay, and then last order of business. Upheaver. Okay, solar amplifier. This might take some doing. Okay, quick question. If I put this here, that only hurts the green space. That's an interesting point. Let's see. So I can actually use areas that are hardier. Doesn't look like wetlands work, but areas that pre-exist will not get polluted by the excavator. So I could potentially use that. Let's see. Let's undo that one. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I mean, I've got loads of money, so I can kind of do what I want. Like, we were very much in uh, do what you want because a pirate is free territory. If I put it right here, and then I put a pump up. There we go. I guess in retrospect, this area is really not going to get me a whole heck of a lot. But grand scheme of things, I am desperate for biodomes. Because, yeah, I have too many flowers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Biodome, we do not have sun. Excuse me. Four percent more. Okay, do we have anywhere else that can be feasibly geomodded? This area is kind of where I want to go. No, that's the desiccator. If I put that down, we we have problems. Hey, right, flip side, let's just do it here. Okay. You may be wondering why am I doing this. The answer is actually so I don't turn a bunch of very valid green space into rock. Because that would be tragic. Okay. 
Okay. So next up we need this. Can't upheave further. Maybe if I get another one of these out here. Or let's just try biodoming these. Is that enough? We need 2%. Okay. Uh, this seems like a candidate. And not a good candidate. But my options are pretty much nothing. Do we even need to do that? Okay. Yeah, I've, still, I've still got plenty of money. Biodom on that. And sun. Yes! There we go. That took some doing. And that should give me just enough to do weather modification, maybe. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Maybe... Let's... Air on the side of extreme caution, just for a second. We've got this really nice river that I can just pull from. I'm going to reclaim some of my basic structures first. Uh, let's see. Okay, that gets me 190. Ah. Puts me at a bit of a spot, though. Yeah, this is why we need the weather modification ASAP. Okay, that'll give me 215. I think that'll hook up to this. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, well... One way or another, don't have a choice. Got to get the steam plants down. I think they're cheap. No, they're not cheaper on this map. Well, let's hope that's enough. Yes! All right, we've got weather. Now we just hang out just a little bit. Well, let's see. What about the little bit of rock next to the windmill by the sea? This one? Or, like, kind of these. They want to know if it does something to, to the sea. I... Wait. Which rock wear this? Like, one of these? Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there's nothing I can do to affect the sea. It's... It's there, but I can't put any structures down. I can't corrupt the sea. I can't build, like, weird trenches to it. Let's just slowly accept funding, and now that we have funding, let's get the hangar down. And start reclaiming money. Love this game. It's so nice. It's so chill. Thank you, friend drone. Oh, and this map, because of because of the uh, the big burn. I mean, we don't get the whole whole entirety of everything, but uh, we did manage to uh, we did manage to get a lot of trees around, so I can put my drone down kind of all over the place. This is getting harder, though. We were definitely teetering on the edge of a potential uh, fairly tragic loss. It probably would have been okay, grand scheme of things, but it is it is getting tougher. Okay. Be there. 
tree there. Be there. Ooh, that's a that's a windfall. And a half. Okay, next one. There we go. So many automation games pushing strip mining and such. I really appreciate a game about cleaning up the planet. I would love to play more automation games that are purely about green tech and sustainability. Like, um... I... Actually, honestly, it'd be really interesting to have a Factorio-like where you start on a trash... Oh, there's a game that exists like this. Uh, that came out kind of recently. I... I read the reviews were pretty bad, though, so I kind of stayed away. Um, but... Almost kind of a Wally situation. I don't need that. I can just slap that down. You know, give me a game that uh, that lets me clean up like a trashed out, heavily polluted Earth. Uh, reviews about what? Uh, I forget the name of it. Let me double check. It's in my DMs. Okay, the game... Oh, hi. Okay. Um... It's called... It's just called Trash. And it's a automation semi-survival game-ish. Where you're effectively just... Uh, you're picking up trash and you are recycling it to build machinery. Yeah... I guess it's actually not too far off of what Flotsam is, too. Except for Flotsam really isn't about... Um, isn't actually about reclaiming the world so much as just making a, a giant... Uh, a giant moving city out of trash. It's like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so the game Trashed uh, that I'm talking about, it came out like a week or two ago. But it's got like real bad reviews, so my general assumption is that, uh... That it's one of those games where they kind of slapped it together and then maybe weren't ready for it yet. Uh, like, weren't ready for a full release. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of reasons why games just get absolutely trashed in reviews. Yeah, where would we find this game? Not the trash one. Oh, this game! Uh, if we want to get this game, it's just on... It's just on itch.io. Uh, it is... Pay what you want. Uh... Because itch.io is cheap. There will be a commercial Steam release later that you will absolutely have to pay for. Uh, but at least for now, you could actually pick this one up for free. Frames, anyone? Chances are it was because I was alt-tapped that the frame rate was bad. Sometimes game journalists are not very good at the games. I That's sometimes true, but in this case, I don't think any g game journalists actually even picked the game up to play. It's very much like the Steam reviews are just like, yep, this is terrible. And it's like, okay, why did I hit quit game? Whatever, it's fine. We can relaunch it in a second. I, oh no. Really? Oh, thank you. Um... Wait, really? No, um... Well, that's tragic. So apparently if you hit the exit game as opposed to the, uh... <sighs> If you hit exit game instead of return to menu, it doesn't count the win, so it doesn't unlock the last level. It wasn't a crash, it was a big whoopsie, and I'm going to place that squarely on the developer's back, that said, oh well, who cares? Oh wait, hold up. I might actually be able to make, it that, make that considerably easier. Let's go back to main menu for a second. Oh, there it is. 
Aha! I just had to quit out of the game uh, to get it to recognize it. Perfect! Yeah, it should have saved, and it did. It just didn't realize it saved. I had to trick it. I don't know. Luckily, I could have played it on an easier difficulty, so no biggie anyway. <laughs>